Greetings! Along with the recent update in Microsoft Teams, you've probably noticed that there's a new interface that presents at the beginning of a meeting, or when you're joining a meeting. This new interface has caused a little confusion. So here's a quick overview. As you can see, I'm already here in Teams, and I'm going to start up a meeting. And this is our new interface. So let's go through this step by step. On the left, it gives you a preview of your camera. So we can simply click this on, and you'll see me right here. Now, one thing I do want to point out is you'll notice that my logo up here appears to be in reverse. This is because it's reversing the image for you. It won't be reversed for your students. So don't worry if it seems backwards. Now let's take a look at the right hand side right over here. In this area, it's asking us to select which audio system we want to use in our meeting. You'll notice that we can choose between three options, computer audio, room audio, or don't use audio. For the vast majority of the time, we're simply going to make sure that computer audio, the option at the top, is selected. And once this is selected, we have a few options here. The next line down talks about your setup. So if I hover over the little control box here, it's going to show me which microphone and which speakers I have selected. In my case, my microphone is my Samson 3, right here, and my headphones are my speakers. To change this, if I click on that little button, I can go into my device settings for my meeting and pick something different. Finally, once you've selected this, you can choose whether or not your microphone is currently active when you join the meeting. You can also change the volume of the meeting itself. So now I'm ready to click join. That's all there is to it.